Without a doubt, I can say the absolute worst weapon I have ever used in a Call of Duty game is the Sigma 2. Going into this game, I was like, oh sweet, only two launchers? These are going to be easy. Oh my god, was I wrong. So before I get into how awful this gun is, as always, if you're looking for something specific, timestamps will be in the description below. I have no idea who signed off on this being a weapon in a AAA Call of Duty game, but holy shit, this has been the most punishing, will-breaking set of challenges for a weapon that I have ever completed. But it isn't impossible. If my dumbass can complete it, so can you. So the Sigma is a hybrid launcher that has lock-on and free fire capabilities. The lock-on is kind of buggy. Sometimes it won't fully lock on to things depending on how close you are to it. And the rockets take the worst angles towards these targets and will often hit something on the way to it. Free firing shots is about as straight as a circle. It looks like there's an extreme amount of RNG determining where the rocket will end up. Some of you will look at this and be like, well, that doesn't matter. I'll just shoot at the ground and get some easy kills. Well, guess what, buddy? This thing has zero splash damage. If you shoot this thing at the foot of an opponent, it'll hardly even tickle them. The only way to get kills with this thing is to direct impact people with a rocket or beat them to death with it. And that's not even mentioning Flak Jacket. Plus, it has the world's slowest ADS speed. And just the cherry on top, you need to ADS to shoot this thing. But anyways, let's get into how to complete these camos. For the spray camo, you'll need to get 50 eliminations with the Ligma and multiplayer. Like I stated earlier, this is the weakest weapon I have ever used, but this hasn't stopped me from getting creative with it. First of all, if you're working towards dark matter and don't have a launcher as your secondary, do that right now. It'll save you so many awful nights of grinding this thing if you can just use it every now and again with your main class or gun you're working on. Next, I highly recommend using the Danger Close wildcard. This will give you extra rockets, lethals, and tacticals. What I did to get kills was to try to nade and do damage to opponents without killing them. Just getting them low enough for the world's largest pea shooter to have a chance at picking up a kill. Flashing and stunning opponents can also make it a little easier to get kills with this. Also, since this weapon does little to no damage, you're going to want to do what I like to call the 1-2. Basically, what the 1-2 is, is shoot as close as you can to an opponent and then swing your launcher at him, hopefully picking up a kill. Another way you can consistently get kills with this abomination of a weapon is to use it like it's a slow, awful shotgun. I recommend that you watch common angles, preferably in closed areas, to maximize your chances of actually hitting and eliminating an opponent. And just a little FYI, I'm not sure if assassinations count towards this camo, so try to keep that in mind if you take the melee kill route. Difficulty? Balls. For the stripes camo, you need to destroy 50 equipment, score streaks, or vehicles in multiplayer. This isn't that tough, surprisingly, with this weapon. Throw on the engineer perk and take out anything that shows up. This applies to field upgrades like prox mines and fuel mics, as well as score streaks, ground, or air that can be shot down. This is probably the least stressful camo of the bunch. Difficulty? Pretty simple. For the classic camo, you need three kills without dying. 20 times in multiplayer. I just want to shake the hand of the man that came up with this challenge and every person who signed off on this being okay for a launch of this garbage. What you really need to do is play very patient. If you can actually get a kill with this thing, protect your life at all costs. Immediately after shooting a rocket, find cover where it's safe to reload. The Danger Close wildcard is basically required to do this challenge. It'll give you more opportunities to get kills with this abomination. And if you still can't get three kills with the extra rockets from Danger Close, most, if not all maps, have a resupply crate on them where you can refill your rockets. And I've had people tell me, just play hardcore, you get kills so much easier. But in my experience, hardcore just made things a lot worse for me when working towards this gun. And that's coming from me who played nothing but hardcore in Modern Warfare. It just doesn't hit the same in this game for me. And I found myself getting even more frustrated because I was dying before I could even ADS with this thing. The game mode and maps I found to work best for this is domination on checkmate and crossroads. For checkmate, I'd always go straight to be inside the plane. I'd stun and nade to get information on where the little gremlins could be hiding at. I would pre-aim or jump shot peek the angle they were at and pray the shot landed. After setting my shot, I would immediately make like a tree and get out of there, finding the closest cover to safely reload the launcher, then rinse and repeat. I did a similar thing on crossroads, but I would work the doorway on the little bridge. Just fucking sitting there aimed waiting for some poor soul to enter the doorway. But a lot of the time, I just get hit markered or leveled by literally any other weapon I try to contest. B site on crossroad is also a good spot to try to get kills, but you have to react a lot faster at this portion of the map. Nuketown could be good for this, but I found myself sticking to the bread and butter of domination on these two maps. If you have any similar spots or helpful strategies, please help some of your fellow grinders out and leave it in the comments below. Difficulty? Go f*** yourself. For the geometric camo, you need to destroy 50 ground-based score streaks or vehicles in multiplayer. This challenge is more annoying than it is difficult because of how uncommon ground score streaks really are, but what I did was play combined arms. In combined arms, usually at the start of the game, there are vehicles that both teams have in their spawns that they can use to get around the map quicker. What you need to do is hop on one of these and drive to the main choke point and be ready to shoot some people down. 
This works even better if you have someone driving for you. But what I found from playing this game mode is after the start of the game, people won't use vehicles nearly as much. So I suggest working out another weapon while you're waiting on more people on vehicles to come or for somebody to put down a sentry turret. But do not leave the game after the start and try to get in a new one to farm early game kills. Multiple times I have done this and I have lost camo progress for it. Difficulty, where's Waldo? For the flora camo, you need to destroy 50 aerial score streaks or vehicles in multiplayer. This one's pretty easy considering most score streaks worth a damn come in the form of some type of plane or helicopter. Stay vigilant and ready to take them out as soon as they come in during your game. I recommend shooting at the score streaks first to lower its health so it's quicker to shoot them down with the launcher. Most score streaks come with flares that nullify the first shot. Difficulty, stupid easy. For the science camo, you need to destroy three score streaks or enemy vehicles in a single game 10 times. This one's not that tough, and it can be completed in almost any mode. Just stay on the lookout for streaks and put on the engineer perk if you haven't already. Difficulty? Easy. For the psychedelic camo, you need to kill two or more enemies rapidly 25 times in multiplayer. This challenge takes forever, and not only do you have to level it all the way up to unlock it, but it's made significantly harder by the small window you have to get the two kills. You're gonna have to shoot or melee somebody right after getting the initial kill. I recommend the same strats as before with the classic camo, but it's gonna take a little more luck. Obviously, you wanna try to aim for as many kills with one rocket as you can. This is easier at objectives, so play around those as much as you can. This honestly took the most time out of all the challenges for this gun, but if you persist, you can unlock it. Difficulty? Pretty f***ing stupid. Well, that's all the tips I have for getting the Soma Llama U assuming gold. If this helped you or you learned something new, drop a like on it. If not, dislike. If you're part of the 83% of people that watch my videos and aren't subscribed, please consider doing so. It helps the channel out a lot and you can unsubscribe at any time. Also, I'm going to be streaming the grind over on Twitch, so you can head on over there if you want to suggest tips, attachments, or just watch me suffer. Links to my Instagram, Twitter, and second channel will be in the description below. Go check those out for more content. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, I usually have something for you guys to leave in the comments. But this time, I just want you guys to use the comments as a place to insult the Sigma 2. And please, be as creative as you can. It'll help ease the pain. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.